what is what are the main obstacles or challenges for governments um, to adopt blockchain technologies that you currently see, Professor? So evidence synthesis of high quality data that will allow policymakers to make effective decisions is one of the key challenges. I get asked this question all the time. In the UK, BBA did all the hard work for policymakers. It took us almost 18 months to collect and analyze over 5,000 research papers, 2,000 case studies, consensus building, more than 50 stakeholder interviews, 150 workshops, and 15 full-time voluntary uh, researchers from Center for Evidence-Based Blockchain. They worked hard on it and then put together this roadmap. Um, so the evidence collection and evidence synthesis and analysis is the first one. Second major barrier I would say is inaction and indecision from policymakers. We know that there is, wherever there is a man-made or man-maintained trust, blockchain could automate it and often at industrial scale. 35% of US employment is only to maintain trust according to the JBBA study. And then you have other examples, e-voting, managing public records, government data. Another important challenge is lack of coordinated effort. What we don't want is one policymaker to stand up in parliament and propose one thing, and then industry and academia is saying, no, no, hang on, this won't work. So we want efforts to be synergized and synchronized. And this is why we proposed in the, in the UK's blockchain roadmap, a quadruple helix innovation ecosystem, which is a very well established uh, concept where you have four key players working together, academia, industry, government, and society. Because a lot of blockchain is still very much unsettled science. And what we need is high quality research to make decisions on what's working and what's uh, uh, not working. Poor planning, I think, and inadequate measures to support industry growth and long-term workforce planning is another big one. We know blockchain is one of the highest paid skills recently. We are bidding for high-skilled workers who can work from anywhere in the world. They are in demand. So unless governments devise policies to recruit and retrain, retain this talent, they will go elsewhere. So I think identification and engagement with stakeholders, making sure that initiatives are, um, are aligned, academic outputs, your policy developments, your broader economic impact, everything has to be aligned in, 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 in line with, the, with your national blockchain strategy. Fantastic insights, Professor. And I suppose my last question is, 